beyond impressed with the work and body of work of Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. For you to be somebody that was um, influential in the course of part of his career early on, to see him now go into the artist that he is. Today. I can't take credit for Kendrick I didn't say take Lamar. credit. I'm saying to, t- to see him grow. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't say responsible. I'm saying Kendrick for you Lamar to see him a, grow listen, into what he is today. Kendrick Lamar is a real motherfucking artist. Yeah. Like, the yeah. true definition of the word. Absolutely. You know? That's what I was going to ask I, you. What I, is the only your... thing I can take credit for is opening the door for him. Mm-hmm. Because he's done everything himself. Mm-hmm. Him and Dave Free. What's that it's... relationship like with you and Kendrick? Oh, we have a, a fantastic relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah, like, I like, I like the fact that you're, well, the way that I look at fans. I'm, I'm extremely observant. And watching Kendrick, seeing Kendrick from early on young rapper, the BET Cyphers to eventually getting to the album Damn, yeah. to then growing and developing into an artist that really had to be moved um, to go and actually put his craft uh, in, in a space for people to hear it, to then get to where he is, like, to date and no, tour. No, he's a and, fucking man. He's, no, he's amazing, man. Let me. Kendrick is one of those those artists that we call forever artists. Okay. Define that for me. He could, he could disappear for fucking five years or something like that and come back and fuck our heads up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Some artists feel like I have to do something all the time so I won't be forgotten. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. That's not him. He can disappear and come back with something that's shocking, that's a, a, a amazing, and everybody's going to tune in and listen. Do you have another example of a forever artist? Um, Snoop, Eminem, mm. forever artist. If, we're, if we're talking about just artists that I've worked with, oh, just you know? in general, just I like, I like that. Uh, yeah, you know. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in, and we got Dr. Dre he sits down with Kevin Hart for his Heart to Heart series where Kevin pretty much asked Dre what his relationship with Kendrick's like, and you know, he calls him a forever artist, compares him to the likes of Snoop Dogg and Eminem, which I gotta agree. I mean, Kendrick is one of the few artists that can, you know, sit back for a couple of years, disappear, drop an album, and we'll be excited all over again. I mean, I think, damn, I think he took like a five year hiatus, if I'm not wrong, you know, before he dropped Mr. Morale. It's only a couple artists that can do that, you know, uh, Jay-Z, J. Cole, Kanye, Drake, Eminem, you know, people like them, you know, they could pretty much do that, you know, it kind of reminds me of like Nas, you know, back in the 90s or back in the day, per se, you know, you take years in between trying to drop an album, you know, that used to be a thing back then, you know, us as fans, we hate it now because we're so used to music, you know, just like that, especially with the streaming era, but, you know, if it's a classic, you know, it makes sense to take time on it. You know, let me know how y'all feel about it, though, in the comments. Y'all feel like Kendrick need to uh, stop doing that or you feel like it's appreciated. Like, you know, you know, why jump the trend when, you know, you're dropping classics? You know, I wouldn't call his last album a classic, but I would definitely put it up there. You know what I mean? Like, it's definitely one of them albums I'm going to be listening back for, but, you know, I'm trying not to use that word classic loosely, so... Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 